Hello, and welcome to Farthest Frontier. Well, looks like we're now heading into Winder. So I'm going to have a look and see we're on about eight months of food. Ooh, lost about potentially five months worth of food. It's going to be lost. Jeez Louise, just because of spoilage. Well, Lizzie can't apparently do much about that until we get a Cooper. Because you go around some of the storage share uh, places, like the, the big storehouse, for instance, and store food. And what they can do is they can have barrels, which reduces the, uh, the spoilage. But, as I say, you need a Cooper to do that. And if I'll go and have a look at resources. It's furniture, brewery, foundry, cutsmaker. Hmm. Storage. There it is, right, so the Cooper comes under storage, so yeah, I need to get up to tier 3, so we're running with a, a tier 2 town centre. Now, I need to get one more of these houses up to a homestead level. I also need uh, 150 of the population. I need to get 100 clear from somewhere, and yeah, 1200 gold ingots, so... Good luck with that one. Um, in this particular case, I, I seem to be just keep missing the traders. That's a trouble. I might get one, but not necessarily both. And I'm, I'm pretty sure they do, do uh, tend to turn up at around about the same time. I think later on in the game, you can get up to three, potentially, I've seen. So I, may, I, wonder, I wonder if like the number of traders is tied to the tier level that you're on to, you know, the current tier. But that's one thing I've noticed, actually, is we're running really low on on wood so I'm gonna get them to start chopping the trees down basically we're in dire need of wood speaking of which we should have there should should be somewhere out there a, a logging camp uh, that's the fishing person that's our Hunter. Let's have a look. Let's look under professions. Uh, so there's, there's, there is a work camp. So I've got, I do have a work camp out there somewhere. $64 million question is where is it? I mean, that area is all highlighted for some strange reason. Maybe that's just because of the visibility of that tower. So where on earth did I build a... A labour camp? Because the, the trouble is you've got to keep on top of them as well. They'll run out of resources. Like they'll, they'll chop all the trees down for instance. I'm, I'm sure it was around here somewhere. They're up, but they're, they'll run out of resources. Like there won't be enough trees to chop down or something. Or there's not enough stone left. And you don't get much of a warning until you actually go looking for it. You know, the $64 million question is where the heck did I put it? So I've, I've built this, so they're now getting iron. It's not going to last long. Oh, I haven't said that. That's 696. I'm sure that only said 14 a minute. Uh, last time I looked. Or 89 or something. It didn't seem to be that much. Hmm. Odd. Oh, well, I'll leave that there. But where the heck have I put this... Um, this labour camp. Because normally I'll build one of those to like chop trees down and gather stone. So rather than keep sending people out, you have a constant labour camp. <laughs> I can't find it. Ah, did I put it here? There it is. You got, got put it in here. What? That must have just because I was started out over there. Hmm. I mean, I suppose what I could do is if you go to the professionals, and we click on that, it takes me to the weaver. If I click on that, yeah, it takes me to the two people that are working for it. So if that, yeah, you can, I suppose you can either follow them back to to where they're working 
or you can um, just basically wait for them and see if you can catch them when they're back at work. That's not really a practical place to be, I must admit. Deal with the one that's it seems a bit of a better area. So tell you what, let's move that over to here because there's a lot of frankly, there's a lot of stone and there's a lot of trees that can be chopped down here. Have I got an or exit point here? No, but I could make one there. Oh, there is one there. Right, there's one there. Ah. I've just got to be careful because of the the raiders. There's, there's raiders out and about that like to cause mischief. <laughs> Give you no end of grief. Still haven't figured out how they can like knock down a a sort of like a big stone wall, but apparently they can. Right, speed this up because I mean we're in winter. So there's nothing really fun to do there. They've got to knock this one down first. Gee, that, that always freaks me out listening to those wolves howling. Somebody's got typhoid again. Hold on. Run out of gold again. We've got any left? Right. Transfer some over to there to keep things ticking over. I mean, the, the problem I've got is just that there's um, we're not we're not generating enough money. We're not creating any gold, and we're not selling enough things in the tr in the trade post. So at least they'll knock that down. And now they're going to rebuild it here. That, that is something I do like about this game is that you don't like tear things down and say like get half the resources back and then you've got to build something completely new in its place somewhere else. You just they, they seem to be able to just, you know, take a building apart and then put it back together again in you know, whole somewhere else. So it saves a lot on resources and it's pretty quick for them to do it as well, I must admit. Especially now because there's a lot of labourers that've got nothing to do. Yes, yeah, so that shouldn't take too long. Right, so their speciality was just wood, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get them to cover both. And there's plenty to do there, so I'll, I'll ratchet that up to four. So we've now got thirty labourers. Uh, the fisherman's not very well, so let's go and have a look and see. Well, heal is back. Interesting, so they've actually got armour on. That's one thing I've noticed sometimes is you get somebody who'll man a defensive area to get armour or something and the next thing you know they're doing some other completely different profession. I mean, you don't need uh, like armour to... Well, you know, the healer doesn't actually go out into the field to look after things, they just... You know, people go to the healer. Anyway, they've got a pretty good area to cover and I can just keep moving it around. The trouble is, I've, I still haven't seen anything in the game yet where you can put a forester in or a, uh, who can actually replant trees, for instance. It's very, very much micromanaged. You've, the only option at the moment seems to be to basically grow your own trees, but each time you do it, it costs you one gold. So it's, um, it's pretty pricey. Hmm, that's a thought. We could do with some coal. The only trouble is coal. I wonder if the mines... Yeah, the mines can be... Yeah, it doesn't officially exist yet. So it's got to be within reach. And I'm reluctant to drop the desirability. That's another thing you'll find is that if the, if the desirability drops too low, people actually start to abandon their houses. <laughs> so it's like, I'm not living in this hovel. Sort the problem out, or I'm leaving. 
what they do, they just abandon it. And the trouble then is the houses then start to decay. So yeah, you're kind of like stuck in a kind of a, like a death spiral effect that we... Anyway. Where are we at? So these, these are buildings that still need to be repaired. I mean, I can literally lift them up and get them to move them. I did that with the marker, so for some reason it's in a wonky position. It's kind of like a bit out of sync, I suppose, with some of them. It doesn't really matter, like, but... Right, so that's getting sorted out. Food-wise, we're on possibly three months. We're relying on these fields to start producing more things. We've You've got three out of a possible ten cows. I think on this thing here. Speaking of cows, it looks like I've just spotted a a trader coming in with some oxes, so I want to pay attention to that for a change. Because they usually turn up just as we're getting into spring. Because I could really do with selling things off. Anything that I've got in excess, I'll have to sell off. So I've got, I've got like a lot of wooden planks, for instance. Uh, I might keep a stock 200 of them. Let's crank this up. Maybe 50. Oop, not 250. 50. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no, I don't want to delete the trading post. Why would I want to delete the trading post? That will be a dumbass thing to do. Ooh, flour. We've got tons of flour. One thing I have I was reading in the notes is that the uh, the way this is all set up is that, I mean, we're storing grain in a granary over there. Uh, that's then getting turned into flour by the bakery. Now, the, the actual... There's no way to sort of like, kind of like set limits, I've noticed, within these. They're just constantly turning that grain. Whatever grain they've got, they'll just constantly keep turning it into flour. Now, the trouble is, flour doesn't last as long as, say, grain. It's going to spoil uh, quicker. So, that's something that's probably worthwhile selling off. But actually, sooner I sell it off, the quicker. I mean, you could, I suppose you could get um, more bakers, but then you'd end up with tons of bread, which, that's something else worth selling. Not really doing much in terms of the linen clothes or that's a thought I need to have I need to have a look at why we're not getting enough shoes or why we're not getting enough pelts. Uh, so it looks like we're gonna have to wait, but at the very least I can ah, drop that's that stuff to buy. Ah, foobar. Yes, yeah, so they're not they're not buying much. I'll sell these planks off, especially since they're going at a high price. You know, we do have plenty of them, so I'll just wait for them to restock this place. Nothing jumps out again. I mean, I could buy the metal ingots and it'll sort the fold out. The only trouble is, we just don't have that much gold, and, and I just keep running out. Right, I'll have to let this one go then. So how are they coping? So they're taking, so we've got one person that's taking in the grain, turning it into flour, and one person's then taking the flour. So it looks, looks like they can't keep up, so I'm going to crank that up to two people. That might explain the firewood problem. We're not getting enough firewood as well, so... Where's our firewood splitter? Oh dear. I think they died of typhoid. Oh, it was a fisherman. Well. So they're not producing enough. Uh, actually, if we go to the... Over to here. Resources. Let's see if I can find anything about the firewood. So... Yeah, we're just not producing enough now. We're running at maximum, so the only option really is I'm gonna to have to get I'm gonna to have to get another firewood splitter in here. Yeah, it is that one. Spin that around, put them there.
So that's... So that's a storehouse. Where's the... Oh, there it is, there. There's the stockyard up there. Hmm. I wonder if I can move that down to... That's uh, too big. Ah, right. There you go. ding a -ling, we've got another trader. So I managed to... Looks like I managed to catch this one then. So, I haven't pulled all the planks across yet. Oh, and they're, they're, they're still going to buy them at a higher price. We'll sell those ones we've got off. So it gives me a bit more to cover. That's about it. Now, I think what I'll do is... I'll get them to keep a constant supply of wood in here as well. The actual timber that we get. Because that can easily chop trees down. Things to buy... Uh, no. Again, nothing's jumping out. I mean, I'm more interested in getting that cranked up high. Getting more gold. Well, that's all I can do for this year, then. So I'm not doing so well on the food, so let's see. You're doing clover at the mid, so... You're doing... Hold on a tick. Why have we got carrots in there? That's unusual. <laughs> okay, so we'll end, up, we'll end up with a bit, bit of extra carrots. It's supposed to be clover. So I'm trying to get the, the fertility sorted out. Yeah, if we put clover in, it's supposed to help with the weed suppression. It puts fertility back in. So I think once that's finished, I'm going to switch over to doing the, um, the buckwheat. I'll take them out and I'll put in the, uh, the clover. Just double checking that I've got at least one period where I've got somebody. So the rogginess seems to be getting dealt with. I'm taking out the rocks and that's coming down slowly. Oh well. Oh dear, All right, let's just pause this. So, we're over here at the minute. So this could do with more sand. We could have done with more sand to help out over here. That one could have done with more. Yeah, it's kind of tricky because the it's going to vary between crops. So that one's all right. It's not too far off. We go. Yeah, that one's targeting more, more sand. I just that's a thought. I've actually got any sand. I'm not seeing any. So chances are we don't even have an actual sand pit. Ah, now there's a thought. I need to get that. I need to get that position filled. Take, take them out. Put them out in. Put some money to cover them. That's another thing. Is it's not, it's not automatic, unfortunately. So I wonder if there's a sand pit nearby. Oh wow, so they're getting attacked by the raiders. So there's a sand pit there we could take advantage of. There's actually one right here. We're getting attacked in quite a few different places. These are getting pretty sneaky, these ones. I'll stay out of here for now because that's where there's some deer. So let's do this one over here near where there's already a working camp. So the sand pit needs to go on top of the actual sand deposit. Try and run that to say there, and then from there up to there. Right, let's get this back up to speed. So there's 17 raiders. Jeez Louise. 
No, I don't want to build more. More roads. It's like they're heading in the direction. I wonder if. Oh, go on, run them over. No. Can you not run them over? Oh, oh, are you going to get home in time? Ooh, lucky. Oh no! Plastic people. So they're now running away. They're probably going to attack the, the bear foragers hood, like the bear did. Oh no, they're just running away. Ah, oh, somebody got killed. Just running away now. Oh, we got one. Right, so need to replace the guard and the wing right. Yeah, so we've got twenty-two, although at least two of them aren't too too well. Looks like that was sorted out, so we'll see what we get. See if they managed to take off with anything. I, I don't think they managed to get into the past the palisade. So it looks like we're okay. Yeah, it was 11 came in. We we took out eight of them, but that's it. So that's it's not too bad. I mean, we lost some people though. We're down we're down by at least one person. Hmm. Found any carcasses? So where are you running off to? Oh, she's stuck in her shelter. Okay. So yeah, I'm not really seeing much. There's it yields four boars, but that's about it. that's good so we're up to 25 out of 25 so we need the what's needed now is we need the population we need the clay and we need the, the gold ingots speaking of which are we not doing out any clay because that's not going to help if we're not actually digging up any clay resources services So we've got four miners. So really there's two right okay, so there's two there's two doing the iron mine there, and then there's two doing the gold mine over there. I'll slow this down because I, I want to find the I wonder if this is a map where I haven't found any clay. I'm playing another map and I can't find any gold. This place has lots and lots of gold mines. The other map has zip nada. I haven't found any. Ah, so there's a clear mine over there. Jeez Louise, that's a long distance. I mean, look at all the gold around here. There's a, there's a lot of gold on this map. Problem just seems to be clear. As I, say, I mean, I've seen at least one, so that's not too bad. But I could kind of like a juggling act. That's where the trader comes in. I'd have to start probably buying that sort of stuff from the actual trader. That's a seriously long distance to have to build a clay mine. I don't see any other alternative. Right, okay, let's get that built. So that's another one that's got to go on top. Hey. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No! This is... Right, okay, so I'll have to get the... Let's see if I can get them to flatten this area. I'm telling them I'm a field 
Well, you never know. I might be able to get ahead. I was expecting serious problems with the road, to be honest, but... Jeez Louise. I mean, most games you can only just do like straight lines for roads anyway, whereas this one, it's snake road all over the place if you like. Tell you for you, I just prefer to keep it as straight as possible. <laughs> Except in situations like that. Hmm. Right, so we've now got. Let's step that up. Start chopping some water. So we've got a good good reserve. So I'll stay away from the deer. I'll leave the deer or the one. So I don't know if that'll have any impact on them. So I'll keep them busy for a while. It doesn't give an option for like chopping down dead trees, I've noticed. It's not specific or non-mature trees. It's just, do you want to chop a tree down? Yeah, okay. 50%. Right, you can have you can have that um compost. 116 of 116, 105 of them are fit, fit to work. No signs of anybody repairing this place, mate. Jeez Louise, there's a lot of beans stacking up here. Who's leaving all the beans lying around on the floor? Oh wow, we're getting a lot of food in here. So they've produced about 28 clothes. Right, okay, so what are we doing for... 275 flax, so... I'll add somebody else to help out here. I can't... I can't upgrade this place yet. Um, yep. Yeah. Do please join, the more the merrier. Except, if we run out of food then yes, that would be a problem. <laughs> so... Yeah. I can upgrade... Oh, Could add somebody extra in here to help stock the trading post that would be useful right so we are slow this down so we're nine houses short i don't i, I, I really don't know if i can fit them in <laughs> that's a trouble um, <laughs> that was a bit of room i can move there oh it's too steep seriously Right, I think we'll move. I'll move that over to there. No, nope, it's too steep. Everything needs flattening on this on this particular map. It's just seriously steep and sloping place. Yeah, all the farming's over here. I'm, I mean, I could move the house. I, yeah, I'm going to run into the same problem over there because we're running into the, where the deer are. Grrr! So they're still working on here. Let's speed it back up again. Maybe I should have just gone for a flat map rather than a hilly one. So, clothing. Uh, I may as well start to stock clothes, so... Just on the off chance. We'll keep a supply of 50 clothes in here. So these are greens, so why not? Oh, they're just carrying them. Ah, right, okay, well, I need to tick the box and say, keep supplying me with these. So I've got 50, um, 100 of logs. I want to keep that going as well. Oh, now that's interesting. The flower's seriously gone down. Um, 
Let's start, let's start keeping some iron ore in here as well now that we've got a, an iron mine. Right, that'll do for now. That'll keep them busy. So how much have we got in terms of... Have we got any spare grain? 770, that's all right. Oh, that's a thought. Did I ever add any... Did I ever sell like that then to keep some honey in here by any chance? Let's ramp that up to 100. Keep that stocked. And what we'll do is I think I'm going to add some more of these. Let's see, so there's food production. I think it just comes under resources because they produce... Um, I might not find it. They, they produce wax and honey. So the, Ah, there you go. That's not too bad a bonus. So they're now full. Got too much stone. There's a housing shortage. Yeah, that's why we're trying to flatten the ground. Oh, crikey, and then we're getting into winter as well. That's not good. That's probably a terrible time to sell, like, ask anybody to join. Right, let's spin that one around. And fit this one. I think that would go there. So that gets me four there. Are they not? Oh, that was it. I, mean, I was trying to move that, and I couldn't because the ground wasn't flat. Put it there. Right. Move, move, move. And I don't think, I don't think that area was flat. Let's try that again. I'll do that while they're, while they're at it, why not? Yeah, I'm just clicking on it to see if it could maybe prioritise it or something, but it doesn't seem so. Right, so let's... It's interesting how the... It's like the fencing allows you to continue in a sort of like a straight line, so like you run it from one point to another, and then you pick up from that corner point or whatever and extend it on. Whereas this doesn't, you don't get that with the, with the roads. It's, it, it's, I think it's probably because it gives you such flexibility that you can't do that sort of thing. Right, anyway, let's slow this back down again because I need to try and see if I can get a house in for these people. So still one house, probably short. Yeah, let's spin that one round. Right, so that should help sort them out. Seem to be doing okay. It's just the, the, the fire logs, and the fire logs they do get used. I know in here. Just, yeah, they're using up fire logs to, to make the bread. I'm sure there was somebody else was using them as well. Yeah, so the soap shop used them. Ah, oh, no, that's one other thing I was trying to look for. The tannery. The tannery is struggling for. Pelts, that's something I seriously need. I might have to start buying these. So we're struggling for pelts and we're struggling for tallow. Let's go and see how our 
what we're doing over here. Let's see if we can get this line put down. Ooh, nope. There. That'll do. <laughs> I guess I, I don't. I don't want to be doing more. Uh, Yeah, I don't want to be doing more of the, it's like the terrain. So it looks like I'm almost going to get that finished off. That must be frustrating, there's only one person left out in the in the cold. Yeah, like the only person in the entire village that doesn't have a house to live in. There you go, that helps them. I'm going to need a lot more housing because I need to take this up to uh, supporting 150. Let's move that over there for now. So I definitely need more more water for these people. Is the, they must have to. They must be sort of concerned if, if it's not like in a close enough range. I'm running out of gold again. Right, hope oh, that'll get the doctor back. Right, we're getting into spring. So they've run out of storage space, which is somewhere to store the bread. Slow this down a bit. So who can store bread? Interesting. Oh, you can. So could have stored the bread here, but it's it's just too much of an effort to walk down here by the scene uh, by the looks of it. Wonder what about right? In which case, let's put a root cellar in there then. Because the trouble is, if the trouble is, if they've got nowhere to store anything, production stops. Now, I think I saw something saying we've got another cow. Yeah, it's a little baby cow. Cool. Oh, that one's grown up already. disappearing into the grass it's so small I've never seen it I like a calf so small wow anyway ho hopefully that'll take a bit of pressure off the bakery here because I say if they run out of like storage space then they can't produce anything I think it'd be fair I mean, we didn't have any any more grain and we're running out of flour anyway, but you know, we've got quite a quite a storage to produce it to produce bread. We're just jumping up and down because I had nowhere to put the bread. And so yes, it's it's a bit of a shame. These are going to be right on the edge, but it means building like quarters, sp splitting these this whole town, city, whatever it's going to be, in the quarters. So meeting that requirement, we're just not, not quite there when it comes to the number of people and the amount of gold. So just getting into spring, so we'll see what we can get from And the trades people if we get anything. Oh surprise surprise the road's too steep. Right, okay. What are you selling? Anything useful? Buddy, better still, what can I sell you? <laughs> right, we can sell we'll sell well they're going for quite a price as well. We'll sell a lot of them. I don't care. I don't care if people uh, complain them. I need the money. 
Ooh, soap's being sold at a high price as well. That's something else I need to have a look at. It's why we're not getting much on this soap. I'll, I'll hold off on that, but I'll... I'll sell, uh, sell the wood. I mean, we could buy some tools. Because that's supposed to help productivity. So we buy some of these. See if it helps anybody. Because they're going cheap anyway. I mean, all of these are complaining about a lack of swords, so we could potentially buy them, but they're too expensive. Hmm. Tempted to buy them just to finish this place. I'll we'll have to get that vault sorted out. And that's about it. Now, the only catch is if that. I mean, we're using these heavy tools in the mill. When that wears out, we're going to have to buy a new one until we can start making our own. But we seem okay for now. Yeah, there's nothing we really can really sell. I could sell the stone, I suppose. So we're doing okay for for that. I mean, we may as well buy some meat while it's cheap. Oh, that was something I wanted was pelts as well because the shoes. Although again, it's going expensively now. Now that we've got our clear pick, I'm just going to leave that be. What I want to do is I'm going to get them to stop this. We'll keep about keep about 200 in here. Right, so meat meat is not on the menu. Right, at least that's getting us a bit further. So gold-wise, we've got a bit there. The rest of it's pretty much sitting there. So I'm going to transfer this lot out, or at least most of it. Um, so at the moment there's this 1500 of it. So now that I've got a vault, I need a heap of, heap of gold out of here. So I don't want them storing gold ingots. So I've got 1,500 gold somewhere, I just don't know where it is. Because I want it in here because this has got 2,500 on its health level. So that can, that can withstand an attack much better. So where that... Oh, we're going to go in here. No. Nope out there somewhere there's, there's 1500 gold out there somewhere i just don't know where hopefully i haven't got any storage facilities out, out on the uh, uh uh the periphery where it's a case of you know the raiders just come in and just take it all straight away so where's it all gone this is just bizarre there's, there's 1500 gold or just under. And I've no idea where it is. Anyway, at least we're storing things in here now. So that takes the pressure off the the bigger. So really once we get the clear coming in and we get the population up a bit more. I mean 14, so I mean I could actually that's a thought what I could do is start flattening this. This area down here. Try to get a bit more room for housing. Just so I can squeeze things in for now. I'd love to know where my gold's gone. It's out there somewhere. But it doesn't go up there. It usually ends up in the um 
in the storehouse. So, and I've deliberately disabled the feature for gold ingots because I've deliberately wanted it to be stored in the vault. Maybe there's just somebody running around with like 1500 gold in their pockets. That's just bizarre. I mean, that's the big. That's uh, that's the only other storehouse I've got. So other other than that, it's just just the storage cart. I didn't. I deliberately disabled it in here. I think as well. Hmm. I mean, it'll run. It'll run out of it anyway at some point. Long as the game, long as the game's con, uh, concerned, there's still fourteen seventy nine gold out there somewhere. <laughs> a curiosity, I'll, I'll get them, bring it back. Bring all my gold back. Unless it was just left lying around on the floor somewhere. That's not unusual. That that does happen. Oh dear, someone's not feeling well. This is just just plain bizarre. Now another thing I was concerned about, I think, was the soap. I don't think we were... Ah, that's it, because we're not getting any tallow. That was the problem we're getting. We're getting problems, we're getting bad... Um, seriously bad health problems, and that's because of a lack of tallow. So there's the hunting cabin there. So let's move... Uh, ring out to here. Because there's... Ah, that's why I was probably doing that. Maybe I need one for both. Maybe it's just not practical. That might be a better idea then. So I'll put that one, say, there. Oh! I just saw this arrow come flying out, and I'm thinking, oh no, surely the the, the, the actual defence posts are not uh, attacking the deer. No, it was just a hunter. Right, step on it. But if I do that, that might sort out the tallow problem, because yeah, she only managed to get about 16 tallow. So that's stuck. Wherever that gold is, it's stuck somewhere. I think since I'm doing this much trading now, I'm just going to add that extra person. It's quite amusing watching these people just running around after the cows, I must admit. As long as I keep the... One thing I've noticed is they can eat your crops. So as long as you keep the, the grazing area outside of your own crops, if it overlaps, you'll find it'll actually do eat your crops, which is a bit embarrassing. It's like, no. Right, eight of four. So that's not bad. Right, can we build... No, we can't build more houses. It won't let me. Oh, that's, not, that's a hunter's cabin. Oh. See if I can line that one up with. There's the road. Right, try that one over there again. Nope. Nope. Oh, 
Oh, someone's got a foot wound. It's embarrassing. Right, we'll have to flatten that area again then. Oh, and now the houses are on fire again. Everyone's on fire. One thing I don't like about this is just the fact that everybody just grabs like tons and tons of water and you end up with all these buckets lying around and it just ends up clogging up the storage. Come on, step on it. So that'll get me to 132. So I think it's four. Oh, then. Somebody just disappeared from the house. Oh, they must have. Oh, okay. We decided to move into that hovel instead. Okay, whatever floats you brought. So the, so the homesteadle only supports four as well. Okay. Aha! Well, spin that. Actually, that's a thought. That's about as far as I want to go. So, put one there. See if I can sneak them up onto this embankment, basically. So somebody else is complaining of storage. Ooh. Let's double check and see if anybody needs replacing. Okay. So somebody's got storage problems. Well, I know they've got problems. I can't find any more. Must have run out of. Uh, oh no, they're still, they're still there. I just can't seem to find them. <laughs> Fair enough. Go a bit further. This is a thing I can't. I can't. I literally, I just cannot see any. You must only produce a certain amount over time, like the wolves, because you can actually. If you encroach on, like I know, on the wolf dens, uh, eventually they just disappear. So that produced about 27. Crank that, mm, maybe about three. Because I've got plenty of people going spare. Last time I checked, anyway. Yeah, I've got about 26 still. Oh, wow, 10 builders. Okay. So that's produced 51. We're at the maximum for that, so now we should have some sand. Right, so we've got a bit of sand and we've got a bit of clay then. So we've got a bit of a clay around with the fields. The target is for 10%. Target, we need to be going in in that direction. We need to be going in that direction. So the current soil bonus is 10%, right? Okay. So now that we've got some sand and clay, hopefully that'll start sorting them out a bit. And get more bonuses. So we're not doing too bad on on oh struth, we've got no gold. Phew, right. So if we transfer Two thousand of that out. It's still not in here. So they've transferred the gold out to somewhere. I just don't know where. It 
should, it should be going in here. They're putting it somewhere and I just don't know where. Oh, it's true. So that's interesting. I've got a, I've, I've now got a gold vault that doesn't store my gold in it. Hmm. Well, we're getting closer and closer to getting this done. I mean, putting the houses down so I've got enough capacity to meet that 150 goal. We've now got the clay mine, so we should start to be able to get enough clay and then we can finally get this up to, aside from the minor smallpox problem, <laughs> we should be able to improve this city. But of course, that's for another episode.